And check the futures. They're very healthy right now. Uh, before the market begins to, to trade, we have a Dow futures up about 300 points. Uh, NASDAQ is up well over 43. So David Bonson is here. Uh, David, first of all, the, the market was kind of slow to get cooking this morning, pre-market activity. They kind of digested the Nike uh, the Nike financials and, and those from FedEx and thought, gee, maybe these earnings are going to look OK. What do you think? Yeah, we're owners of Federal Express. We're not owners of Nike. We bought FedEx on its big dip earlier in the year. And I think you're exactly right. That soft landing thesis that maybe we get a recession, but it isn't a real bad one. Right. That's sort of what both those companies kind of indicated. It's very early. We don't know what's going to happen with the economy next year. But um, I thought the FedEx uh, report was really quite encouraging. Yeah, and it's a great bellwether stock. I mean, they trade all yeah. around the world. They have 300,000 employees. Fred Smith is still has uh, a lot of control of that company. He's a m brilliant manager. So it looks like a good pick. You, by the way, are a classic dividend guy. We, t we talked about that before. My son is, too. He's just getting into trading as, as uh, he transitions out of the Marine Corps. Uh, you like Clorox. I imagine that that's because they have a nice dividend, right? Well, they have a great growing dividend. And so I picked Clorox today and another utility company maybe we'll talk about because I wanted to go with some more defensive names. There's all these names that have been great dividend growers all year in energy that have done really well. We've had some big gains this year. Clorox is more conservative, a consumer staple company, had higher input prices with higher inflation. Now we think that's kind of baked in and their margins have really improved. Well, let's talk about that energy co uh, company, American Electric Power. Now, it was just downgraded, we should say. I think it was a day or two yeah. ago by, by Bank of America, but you still like it. Why? Yeah, when sell-side analysts start downgrading, sometimes that makes us like it more. But in this particular <laughs> case, it, it's the only utility name we own, and we just think that they have the best assets, that their pricing power is very strong. Obviously, it's a boring space, but yeah. utilities have done well most of the year. Lately, that's sort of fallen off a bit, and we just like being able to re-enter. They've grown the dividend every year. What's your 15-second summation of what 2023 is going to look like? I just want to point out what John said before the break about housing prices going lower, and he said, unfortunately. He's right. Housing prices are going lower. I don't know why that's unfortunate, unless you need to sell your house real quick. Housing prices were way too expensive. Them getting more affordable is a good thing, not a bad thing. 2023 is going to be a volatile year, David. All right. Thank you very much. Great to talk to you, David. Appreciate it.